Hi guys, we're gonna show you one more use for uh, a heavy duty trash bag in the rain for survival situations. It's coming down pretty good out here. You can see I've already made my survival poncho out of one trash bag. That's one use for it. Now we're gonna show you how to make an A-frame tent with nothing more than some, some cordage, doesn't matter what you have, and a big trash bag. So I'm gonna set this on the ground real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and set up the main line that we're gonna drape the A-frame over. So, you can get as particular as you want about your knots. This is a midshipman's knot, which means I can adjust it so I can tighten it down here and it'll stay pretty tight here. So now I'm gonna run this across to the other tree and I wanna keep this low. These trash bags are big, but they're not huge and I wanna be as covered as I can from the elements. So I'm gonna run this over here. I'm gonna give myself a little extra line before I cut it. I'm gonna tie this one lower. Get it a little bit taut. I'm gonna leave myself, I've got a lot of rope here. If I was short on rope, I might not be as generous, but I'm not gonna be stingy here. I don't wanna to have to run the whole thing over again. Pull it tight. Do the same thing again. Okay, so we've got our line set up. I can always re-tighten it later. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut the bag open to make our A-frame. So we wanna maximize the size of this bag as much as possible. So what I need to do is slit this open and then slit one of the sides open. And now we can drape this over and make our A-frame. I'm actually going to set this up the other way so that I have a little more length. This isn't meant to be a huge shelter, but if there was a big storm, you could at least keep dry if you did have to sleep here. You could get under this thing once we get it anchored down. And at least you wouldn't have rain falling on you. If the line is drooping, so we're gonna run this up. That's why I set one higher than the other. So we can get it where we want it. All right, now that we've got this draped over, we need to make some anchors for it. I'm gonna show you a little trick to creating grommets in like plastic sheeting or if you have a tarp that the, the grommet rips out of, that way you have something. If I just poked a hole and tried to tie a knot through it, it's just gonna pull straight through. Um, so we're gonna find, what we need is a small object. We're gonna bunch the small object up in the tarp and then we're gonna tie the string around this and then we're gonna anchor the other end of it to a stick that we've driven into the ground so that it doesn't do this while we're trying to sleep or trying to stay dry. So I'm just gonna use some twigs Something as small as this can work. Let's we'll see if I can get a couple of these. And then we're also gonna need some tent stakes. So for that, break off some of these sticks, drive them into the ground. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is bunch it up like that, and then I'm gonna tie the string around it and pinch it off. Do that. I'm gonna tie that midshipman's knot because you can cinch it down. And you can form these knots.
beforehand and then they're ready to be cinched down whenever you need to which is kind of cool it's one advantage of this knot Let's see if I can do this with my fingers wet and muddy so we'll get this tightened snug down cinch this down around that stick boom there you go We've got one anchor point. I'm gonna give myself plenty of room here to tie this stake down, and I'm gonna clip it. And I'm gonna move on to the next one. All right, now we gotta put the anchors in. So this ground is pretty soft. We're, you know, kind of assuming that it's been raining. And that's why you're needing to do this. So we should just be able to drive this stick into the ground. This is actually a great stick for a post because it's got a little twig hanging off of it. So I'll go, go ahead and tie my knot. So now we want to just kind of expand this as much as we can. So I may actually work this one down here, get some more length out of it. And I can tighten this up a little bit. This is kind of locked down on here, but. see it is adjusting a little bit by just moving this knot down on the line it gives me a little more space so if it was pouring rain outside this isn't a, you know a super duper tin or anything but it's gonna keep you dry the ground is sloped right here so I'm not gonna deal with water coming back up and getting me wet uh, if I had something to lay down on that'd be great I've got this actual uh, trash bag poncho going right now so if I was to get under there the only thing that would get wet would be my head and my legs down here uh, but in an extreme survival situation I'm not gonna be too worried about that I probably have some kind of gear that I could lay on the back of my head to keep it a little more insulated so I'll go ahead and crawl under here um, I'll put my head up here and my feet down at the bottom and you can just see that yes you could fit a person under this in a pinch um, it, it is an emergency shelter, but it would work. So here we are. <laughs> it would work. I've got my head covered. My body's going to stay fairly dry. Um, I could tuck my feet up under here. And if I had to, I could definitely sleep under here, have something under my head, and you're out of the rain. There you go.